Welcome back to Horror Realm. We got a cool little hiking video with a little myth behind it. We're not so sure if it's real, if it's true story or not, but it's pretty cool. We're at Little Creek Park in West Virginia, and we're going to go to the Devil's uh, Table. Basically, basically, it's my cameraman's trying to give me information. We go. We just did this about two days ago with Worth the Research. It's a local little hiking spot, about a mile trail on this side of the road, and there's a mile trail on that side of the road but this trail loop trail to rock ridge trail takes us to the devil's tabletop and basically supposedly with some witchcraft some spooky things some sacrifices of animals and such have been uh well happened there possibly so we're going to go check that out it's a really cool feature nonetheless it's basically a whole bunch of rocks and sometimes when it rains the, uh, the, the, the water seeps through the rocks which is pretty cool it's like a hundred feet tall so that's pretty awesome we're gonna just hang out get the whole trail on camera if we uh, if it lasts that long make a cool little video show you the trail while we're walking there so I hope you guys enjoy please be sure to like share comment subscribe if not for me do it for the jaw shark all right let's go and we got the helicopters they're looking for us He'll never find where he hit the body. So I used to have a job where I used to take my kids out here a lot. It was uh, pretty fun to do, and it's actually a lot of bikers. They have their own bike trails up here, but you'll see bikers along with walkers. Yeah, going. On, they are coming for us. Shh, duck down. Hurry, get to the chopper. Do it. But uh, it's actually a single prop plane. Oh, it sounds like. I'd like to have problems too. <laughs> yeah, it's actually about 90 degrees out here. One thing awesome about hiking, it's humidity. If the humidity isn't bad, then your hike isn't bad. Even maybe 90 degrees, you've got all this foliage around you. It keeps you cool and humidity's down. It's actually a good time to walk, especially in late evening. Need the right camera guy. He says yes. Make sure there, it's so nice. West Virginia is one of those states where you can get out. A lot of people say, you know, oh, there's not a lot to do in West Virginia. You know, oh, there's no, there's no this, there's no that. Well, they're, they're wrong. This is a very active state. This is one of these states, if you like kayaking, if you like mountain biking, if you like hiking, this is a state you need to be in. There's so many progressive sports. We think outside of the box here. It's a really good place to be physically fit and be active. So when people say there's nothing to do in West Virginia, look here, they're wrong. Well, I'm going to shut up for a minute so you guys can just enjoy the scenery so I can talk all day. Obviously, you've seen my videos. It's all the different. I wish I knew. I said I'd shut up. Such a liar. The only thing I know about, like, uh, you, you can leech acorns, basically. That'll keep you alive for a while. You always want to drink after moss in the creek because the moss acts like a natural filter for water. So if you ever get lost in the woods, always drink after the moss because it cleans out all the bacteria. And the deer piss. What? Y yeah. Oh, and Goat Man. Goat Man likes to pee in the water. Well, he's a bastard. He'll make sure you, uh, he'll do that to you too. I wouldn't be awesome to see a goat man versus Bigfoot fight. That'd be great. What if we win that shit? And the rake? And, no, and that's just, that's third partying. <laughs> the rake can ref. I've been out here on numerous amounts of times, but never paid attention to this. So it's pretty cool. Like, things like that always make me wonder if that's like, see that hump, which we do have Indian burial mounds out here. If that hump's actually something which, or if it's uh, just, uh, you know, erosion or tree root system that's already up but it's cool and we have a lot of actual barrel mounds in west virginia we get all those tails i know up north in pennsylvania and in ohio they have all those uh skeletons those bigger than average humans they unearth and the museums are always like hiding from people and stuff it's pretty creepy there's a lot of history that gets erased that you just don't know about because knowledge is power, and a lot of people in power try to take all that stuff from you guys. Make sure you do your research. Oh, it's actually beautiful up here. Oh, oh God, it's big for us.
I remember I'll, uh, when this runs, it's really pretty. Must be a tired day. And there's also a creek at the bottom, and it's probably dry as well. We got a couple coming here, so we'll say hi to them. It's a really good pastime hiking. If you guys, if you ever come to West Virginia or your local state has any of these venues, you should do it. Good day, isn't it? Yeah. Is that your dog? Yep. He's cute. Look behind us. You'll see actual West Virginians in their natural habitat. Now we're covered in foliage, so they can't see us. But I still don't have a clear shot. We'll let them be today. We're not hungry. Let's move along. So there's a creek I was talking about. Yeah, they name it a, a little creek for a reason. There's a lot of little creeks <laughs> there. Uh, you know, people, which I guess it's, I thought it was common sense, but you know, most things that get named like uh, Devil's Mountain or Satan's Anal Range, or you know, or the Witch's Room, those places are named that because bad things have happened there. If you do research, now, I mean, serious, if you do your research about places that are named um, sinisterly, if that's a word, then you'll find some really good history behind it. Like, maybe a family was slaughtered there, or maybe people got lost there and had to, result, uh, re result, had to revert back to cannibalism. So check out those names that are really scary. There's usually some really good history behind it. Moving right along. Make sure you're getting all the foliage. Oh, I'm missing it all. Oh, no. How can you miss it? How can you miss it, though, you manatees? We're engulfed in it. Engulfed. I like that. While being enthralled in the moment. Look at that. Nine years of college, just to say that word for you. I see you eating Cheetos. Picking your nose. Oh, well, you... Yeah, I just work here. Hey, if you guys like these videos, like these uh, landmark stuff, we're going to try to do this as often as we can. It's just hard to get out with everything going on. But at least every other week we'll try to bring a video of like uh, going out and exploring different, whether it be a hunted graveyard, whether it be a land feature like this. You know, we're going to try to get out there and bring you guys some creepy stuff because we are the whore around. I know I do a lot of like gaming on there. That's just because it's easy. I do it right before I go to work after I lift. It's just something to pass the time. But this is where the real hobbies lie. We got a cross. It's going to tell us where to go. It speaks. The cross speaks. Oh, I see what you did there. <gasps> I'm just guessing that I'm guessing the devil's tabletop is this way because of that structure. It's probably a giant loop, but we'll try it. You got all the devil's tea table. Yeah, whatever. We we should carve our name and be cool. I'm not cool enough. I was. I can't cool. spell. Yeah, that's a problem in West Virginia. Feel good on the timer, buddy. Hell, good lights. It's not showing you a countdown or anything. Nope. Awesome. Oh, man. So nice. Obviously, that 
the birds back around. And we don't want to do that. We want to go deeper into the abyss. Follow me if you want to see creepy or a plant, whatever. Wrong turn. I think we took a wrong turn. We, need a, we took a wrong turn 15 turns ago. <laughs> People from wrong turn even like y'all crazy. Watch your stairs, folks. The rocks and roots will get you. Here's some what type of animal. Look, for it doesn't look like deer or raccoon or cat. That's really cool. Probably bear. I guess wild hogs. Yeah, I see those. Boar. See that flat rock? We could almost, if it was a little drier, if I had you know, we could walk in a tree. That's really pretty through there. If you want to check the creek out, you won't get on the trail. You might get your shoes wet, but. Might slide and bust my head. That's okay, I'll just leave you. I know. <laughs> All right. We should just loop around, yeah. And I'm sure everyone watching this video know, but for those that may not know though, because you know now, all trails will be marked by paint and different colored paint. It uh, tells you how hard the trail actually is. So like, we'll say like uh, black's probably the hardest usually, red and yellow, is intermediate and blues use of the easiest but really just depends on the park but always if you think you're still not sure if you're on the trail or not look for your marking your paint it's actually blood from the human man, sacrifice goat man's latest victim actually my latest victim i mean that's just going to get your cool little rock here oh my god it's a rock Check out the cool. Yeah, it's a good place for an ambush. Rattler to hang out. Or an ambush. Who's gonna name a bush Am? Amber. Amber's got a bush. Don't talk about Amber like that. She's a nice girl. How oh, how dare you? Never go downhill. She's too easy for me. We always make sure, like, this is just me, I'm, that's really pretty, we go through there. Um, always, uh, it's just me, and I don't know what state you're in, you're lost, but always carry a firearm, I always do, have them on me now just for personal safety, especially if you go out by yourself or even in groups, because you never know what's going to happen. Not mainly for people, but for wildlife, and if you get lost or something, it's always good to have that and some water. And if you're really worried about it, our personal locator beacon, or about $300 gets you a good one, and it'll link up to the satellites and they can find you within like 25, 30 feet anywhere. See all that? That's cool, Scott. Get the... What's that? It said 100 feet of rock. My guess is since I've been here before. It looks like a pile of rocks piled yeah, on top of each other. Okay. My guess, one thing I can think of, which when I used to hike over here, we're going to follow this creek to the, to the right, if you're looking this way, left this way. Depends on your perspective. And at the, where this creek is, probably 300 yards down, there's a giant uh, waterfall looking thing. And I'd say that's what they're calling that. But back in the day, I didn't know the history of this place. But it's pretty cool. You got to thank the cameraman, Scott, for looking that up for us. Like I said, give some kind of weird, could be symbol. You see that? Never know. Deer peed. Yeah. There's a little creek. Yeah, that's a little creek. 
Very tiny creek. I played in that creek with my kids. We used to cross it. Probably catch some crawdads in there. Oh, yeah. And malaria. Oh, you know, that's pretty. No, actually, probably most of the water here is drinkable. Not here, but I mean in West Virginia. Oh, yeah. The hills and stuff. I love that sound. All these rocks and stuff filter the water really good. I'd say you could drink that, well, for sure if you had to, but like rocks covered with all that moss and stuff, if you mm -hmm. were lost, that'd be a great place to drink right there. Take that, but it's usually usually pretty wet. I'm gonna try to take the creek. We may have to double back. The creek's pretty low. I'm seeing if we can get that structure. Yeah, we'll we'll go around because I don't get my nice pretty shoes dirty. That structure should be up here on the left. What they're calling. So we'll just. I know I'm a pansy boy. Can't get my nice new running shoes dirty. Send it to bed. Well, I have some nice white ones, but two pair, but they're white. Well, this is where you want to so wear. I couldn't wear them. I mainly mainly got them to wear in the gym. Now, snakes this time. Be careful for snakes this time of year in West Virginia and ticks. Real bad as well. Ticky tickies. Yeah, I pulled one off at work. You know, where's this go? Huh? Where's this going? To the uh, water and then to the uh, devil's thing. Hopefully. Can I cross over there? Yeah, I can. I can Let's try this way. This is the right way. It is. I used to do it. If we get snake bit in here, we're done. Because we're going off trail. It's way up there. Yeah, but it it's on the main trail. It ain't off the trail. Oh, well, what I what I think is is over there. Well, that's fine. We can get back on. See, I used to walk that creek. All right, Scott. Let's get back up the hill. See the local, the indigenous. They always cross the four wheelers and stuff over there. If it's still there, it is still there. See, the path usually comes through there. It's grown up. No one's using it anymore. That sucks. We could skip across over there. See, the trail usually came down here. Yeah, 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 here. See? Here's the path. The hiking path. And it would go through here and the, the daggone devil thing would be over here. Here's that waterfall and here's the marker. Yeah. Here's your marker. The path will go right through here. And it's not we're so close to it. Oh, just growing up, literally right over here. Let's try to walk along the bank. You guys can see it. Just with the COVID thing, just like everything else, you know what I mean? Maintenance and uh, foot traffic is going to be light. So unfortunately, not a lot of people are doing this, but we're here, son. Watch your steps, Scott. Man, where are you going? I'm not going over there. Huh? I'm not going over there. Well, we get down right here. We can walk the creek to that beach. It's right over here. I don't think this is it. Drop all that water down. 
coming. It's hard to do this and hold a camera too. I'll, that's why you're off. I'll scale the head. Uh, hold up for a second, Scott. I just don't think that's it. There's there's no path here. It's right on the path. I'd rather cross the creek than climb over all this crap. Sorry guys. I'm not going through all that crap. I don't even know if I can make it back over. Holding this camera. Let's see if we can make it back. Because that devil's tea table is on the main trail and he's way off the trail. So I don't think he knows where he's going. get snake bed up here. Path is too the water's too high to get to it, damn it. Yeah, I don't think that's it because it's on the main trail. Okay. Well, I know there's a big tall feature over there, Scott. And this is where the trail goes. It's just, if you see the paint mark here, it always went through this creek. You always walked it. That's how I, it's, that creek's part of the trail. See on this side, you got your yellow paint here. When you come up from the creek. Well, I'm not saying it's not a trail, a trail, but because back there around the bend that 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 you walked on is not a trail that's a side of a hill but yeah 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 the trail goes up comes to the creek we can check the other side we'll double back see if we can get to it through the other way other side of the road oh man you should see my kids trying to ride their bikes through this shit <laughs> Be cool to ride a dirt bike or four wheeler up through here. Oh, yeah. Mr. McBride. Yeah, it is a really good place to hike. And it's moderately traveled at best up here. So if you're looking for. Maybe some alone time for you and your girlfriend, boyfriend. Come up here. We don't discriminate. And there's everybody once again that cuts all their... See this trail? It comes from guys that come from the creek. You go up the bank. It comes up. And you, like I said, always follow your markers. Where the carvings in the tree. Unfortunately, though, it's really grown up back there. Can't lead you back to where we started. So unfortunately we can't get to it that way because I don't have the right shoes on or I take the camera and just go through the creek. So we're gonna try to double back and go on the other side of the road and try that way down. Guys, be sure to comment down below and let me know places you want to see us go, places that want to be explored. And let me know places in your local area that have history and let us know about them as well because I'm always trying to find new places and hear stories from you guys. I'm not dead yet, Scott.
Yeah, the people over there. Yeah, I thought it came from over there. <laughs> Good job, Scott. Burning calorie. Cool little hint as well. Nature ne hardly hardly ever makes straight lines. So if you see a straight line or something in the woods, it's usually man-made. Most things in nature are rigid, are obscure, and usually have rough edges, like this dead uh tree root system here. You made it to the top, man. <laughs> we get that way, but there's nothing down that trail. So, guys, I'm going to head back up to the car. You all have already seen this trail. It was a really good experience. Fortunately, we didn't get to uh, see Devil's Tabletop yet. We're going to check the other side of the road. We're going to try that, try to find it, because that way is blocked off because there's no foot travel and the creek's high. I don't know the right shoes to go through the creek. If I did, we'd go through the creek and check it out. But we'll try the other side, see if we can find it for you guys. This is going to be part one, I guess. So be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay creepy.